Hello and welcome to my channel. It's soon going to be Christmas, so I thought to create a beautiful Christmas greeting card in Mithila or Madhubani style. So to check all the material and necessary details, you can always look in the description box where you'll also find a link to watch the same video in Hindi. So do subscribe to my channel before we begin. So what we are using today is this A5 size thick paper. Uh, which is around 300 GSM. You can use any black pen, any black pen just for creating this uh, greeting card, a beautiful one. And we are going to make it all Christmassy. I'm using these two different sizes of brushes today, round brushes and acrylic paint. So let's see how we go ahead with it and what are we going to do today. So before anything, we are going to create a beautiful, beautiful, sweet border with little tiny 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 christmas bells so for that what i'm doing is just trying to first create that frame for the border and i'm using double lines as you can see and uh, this is basically uh, you know i'm getting inspired from mithila art or madhubani painting so basically you know these double lines are a very very important and essential element of it so i'm going to use that and first create the frame so here it is very easy to do without the scale because it is you know right at the edge of the paper so you can take the reference of the edge and create those lines freehand and then what you have to do is create those christmas tiny tiny christmas balls which you use basically to decorate the christmas tree and then in between just make double lines and a semicircular pattern just like here so we go ahead and we have to just keep changing the direction of those lines and the semicircles the patterns that we are creating that's it so this is a very simple border but it looks super super cute and super super beautiful and christmassy i'm so excited to make this video and thank you thank you so much for putting in a suggestion you can always uh put in a comment if you want to make something uh you know in madhubani or mithila style and i take your recommendations and a and I try to create a tutorial for you all. So here we are going to do multiple borders on top because, you know, we have to make it a little bit festive. We have to make it very, very beautiful. It's a perfect greeting. You can give it to someone on Christmas. So we have to create a really, really gorgeous borders. We have to get inspired by Christmas. So that is why those, um, uh, you know, balls that I created up and then I'm going to basically create these um, you know lines here which is just you know connecting the crosses and then inside those just creating these lines so basically this pattern is very simple and easy so that's what I did for the first border the thicker one and then it's a little bit thinner one which I'm using you know zigzag triangle which gives a look of a Christmas tree so that's the basic border so these three borders a combination and leave a little bit space in the bottom and then draw your Christmas bell so that's what is the thing that we are going to do today Christmas bell a simple design not very complicated but once you do it trust me it's turned out to be so 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 beautiful and festive and Christmassy that I just loved it and we are going to see how to achieve that how to do that so here again inside the bells we are just trying to create some borders some patterns so that it looks also relevant to Madhubani or Mithila art now here again some patterns again here and double lines now if you see that today i'm not using much double line in the bell or in the you know leaves that i'm going to further create because i'm going to do it in a different style totally which you will see if you see the paintings of a master artist like Bawa devi you will see this kind of unique style that she has uh, she used to have in her paintings or she used to use in her paintings so that's what we are going to do so uh, many times people get confused that it's all about double lines it's not like that there are many different styles of madhubani painting there are many different ways you can do it and i am going to create it a little bit different because i want to also make it look very festive so that's what i'm going to do so these are the leaves that i'm surrounding the bell with you know a typical design it's not much we are just going to decorate it further so after doing that 
what we have to do is just you have to make those lines very thick here instead of double lines i'm just trying to create it very thick you will see the magic once we add colors and once we add the final final christmasy vibe the final design or the final touch to it so do watch this video till the end because in the end you will see how it actually turned out to be so here we go we are just trying to make it a little bit dark the pen i mean the lines the black lines that i created by the pen i'm just making it a little bit darker a little bit thicker so you can use a very thick pen for it if you have it and you just don't need to do that double work but i don't have such a thick pen so i am just putting it a little bit more effort now i work with a very fine pen here because we are creating those fine lines those magical fine lines of madhubani so here we go we are just creating in the background now you see as you create those fine lines those zigzag lines that you use to create those christmas tree it looks perfect it looks even better and now these fine lines also in these rhombuses that we created these structures that we created using crosses we are just going to fill it in the center now you have to be very careful because we made three three repeated lines inside so you have to be very careful you have to find the middle one and just put those lines there because the other places we are going to fill in colors so this is one big detail that we had and now i'm just creating fine lines here in the triangular border that i created on the bell so here we go so this is this looks nice perfect now and now time to add colors so we begin with red you all know me probably that i just love red and of course it's christmas it has to be red so that's why it's red here in these tiny tiny little circles and then again moving on the red color also goes in my border i just love red i'm so obsessed with red every painting of mine has red but i just love it so much but of course this is christmas so here it's not my fault completely so we go ahead and then here again as we go with the design alternate always filled with red then comes yellow wow yellow gives that golden that uh, gold look of christmas basically i'm not using directly gold because then it is a little bit it shifts from mithila or madhubani painting so i'm just trying to use yellow instead of gold so here we go we are just going to use gold uh, sorry yellow not gold and then here i add yellow in this big circle in the bottom here which is a part of the bell and then we move on with a nice nice shade of purple in the background so it gives that you know uh, look of the sky and we could draw some nice amazing snowflakes i have so many ideas we are going to make it super christmasy super festive and nice for you all so here we go we are just adding a nice shade of purple in the background now i like to add the background first because it really helps me understand what color should i use next so that's one tip from my side because if you add the background you can really understand where to put which color and what color will look good here so here i just added a tiny detail here in the attachment to that circle which is basically um in the bell and then i'm using also red here as the background on the top part of the bell and the bottom as well then this is the magic what i was talking about this is a simple line instead of double line we are today going to do it a lot we are going to use color on top of a color now you have to make sure that your color is completely dry before you do that so that's very important so now i have started using uh two different shades of green because we have to bring in that green that christmasy feel so that is why we are using these two different shades of green so one is a bit darker and the next one is a little bit lighter so we are going to do it every alternate we did it already on the bell those triangles and the pattern above it and then i am going to use those two shades of green also for the leaves here in the bell 
now just like this okay so we keep doing it and then on top of these borders also we are using a little bit of green so here we go we just are going to put in these nice tree like structures or basically those borders that we created green so the magic of dark and light green when it is put in together it looks absolutely perfect it looks gorgeous and here again in the border the topmost that we created with those nice rhombuses or those nice crosses that we combined to create those rhombuses so that's what we are doing here also so i'm just going in the big ones first with darker green and then in the tiny ones those left out which is just nearby i mean first we'll put just red here in these tiny ones and then we move ahead and we will just after putting in the red put those light green so same similarly we did it in the bell now here in these tiny ones i was talking about here we put in light green so and again here as well in the christmas tree light green light green dark green light green dark green so we have to go we have to combine it together and create a wonderful border design so we are going ahead and just doing it like this here we go adding those light green dark green effect and some yellow now so whatever leftover i had from yellow i'm using it here as well and in this design as well so we are doing that it looks perfect but yet misses that festive vibe so we are going to make some magic happen today so we are going to use a little bit different style of madhubani which is also very interesting to learn and it gives a different flavor altogether so now i'm taking the yellow color and adding a line of yellow on top of the green that i darker green that i used for the leaves and then what i'm going to do is add red here on the light green so it's a play of colors so you have to be very careful what color you are using for instance if i had used darker you know on the darker green red it wouldn't have looked that beautiful so you have to mix it with dark and light combination and now it gives me that festive feel of christmas it looks absolutely stunning i love it just love this uh, you know effect and it looks really festive so it's perfect you know as a gift if you want to give it to a uh, friend of yours or some family member it is just absolutely perfect greeting card for christmas so let's just finish this yellow thing here as well and on the other leaves of course so this is a little bit of uh, you know work of patience you have to be very careful that you don't uh, merge it on the black or on the other part now a little bit more beautifying it adding a another color is white now i have a white pen so you need a little uh, a white pen you can use paint as well but be very careful with the paint of course and you have to be very very do it very minutely because we are also going to create snowflakes in the background using this white pen so you have to be careful if you are doing it with paint you just use a very very thin brush and if you are uh you know attempting it uh, for the first time i would recommend it's a little bit difficult to create especially the snowflakes these dots and other things that i'm creating on the leaves um, like uh, dotted lines and stuff it is fine it can be easily done with a brush but be very careful while you are doing the snowflakes especially so we'll see it later and we are also going to write merry christmas that is why i asked you to leave the space in the bottom there that is where we are going to write merry christmas so now the time to create snowflake so here we go these tiny tiny snowflakes in the background absolutely adds to it and gives that festive vibe gives that perfect christmas vibe i just love this it's such a simple painting it is though a lot of work it is though a lot of details tiny uh, details added here but it is just perfect for christmas so here we go another snowflake here so i'm just going to put in few snowflakes in the background here and there just randomly adding it and giving it that life you know 
how you say you bring the painting to life. Now I'm going to write Merry Christmas in the bottom. That is why I asked you that just leave a little bit space in the bottom because we are going to write Merry Christmas here. So and almost done. Just going to darken it a little bit because my pen is super thin. This white pen that I have is a little bit thin. So I'm just going to darken it and then it looks nice. It stands out. And of course Christmas. That's what we are going to write. Here we go. Almost done with the painting, guys. Almost done with this greeting card. Do let me know in the comment section how you like this. And do like this video and share it with your friends. And I wish you all a very happy Christmas. Have a good holiday. Stay safe. And this is the last snowflake that I'm adding here in the end. Not the last. Of course, I'm going to add a few more. And it looks like this once it is done, the painting. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We meet each other with another painting very soon.